sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. We're zero help right now. Hava, Azar Azai, Azar Azai, something like oh, that. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it's like Azar Azai. I'm much closer than you were. We'll go with that. That's a thing. Um, but that's who um, the 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 god, right? The, the Melisandre, who's the Jesus figure in this entire thing. Yes, basically, honestly, yeah. Uh, Melisandre has. Oh, been... you mean Beric Dondarrion? Is that what you're talking about? No, uh, no, no. But but maybe actually in a way. So hold on, I'm yeah. gonna get to that. Yeah. So in that. Um, in that prophecy about about I'm, 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 um, in that in that prophecy about him, he wields a sword of fire, and and cuts down the the White Walkers. So we've seen that sword of fire with who? With our boy Beric. Yeah, with Beric. With yeah. Beric. So we know that sword of fire is out there. Well, doesn't the Hound just light a sword on fire? Actually, yeah, I think the, I think it happens in that battle, yeah. right against Beric, him and Beric, and the, you know, like to your point, Melisandre always says like the Lord of Light is, you know, connecting the dots, and I think when you look at it, the Hound, Tormund, in prophecy or in like you know backstory, um, John, have all been resurrected. Right by and Beric by the Lord of Light potentially so maybe there is this coalition of people that are being driven by yep. this Lord of Light and maybe he one of them is the standard figure for that actual prophecy yeah um, cool is there any other outstanding theories that you guys want to throw out there one of the games that I wanted to play here pretty quickly is who do we think we're gonna see become a white or a white Walker who do we think is gonna be resurrected and come back I'm gonna start with one. That would make me so sad, but I'm almost Don't going to it. guarantee it. I'm Don't going to say it. it. Hodor is now a <laughs> oh, white walker. Yeah, that's sad. Hodor. I know. <laughs> I know, but I think like I, I think it's it's inevitable. Actually, like semi spoiler alert, there was like a picture recently of that actor Christian Mikkelsen or something. Who yeah, plays Swedish Hodor. DJ. Swedish yeah. DJ. Yep, actually, yeah, <laughs> is on set. Who was on set for season seven? So I think there's a chance that we're going to see him come back. And be a White Walker, which would be such a heart wrenching moment. You know what I mean? That would be so sad. Anybody else that you guys can think of that might come back? I guess they would have to die first. So. Yeah, uh, I my my favorite and the one I guess it's probably the main thing we haven't seen come over from the books is uh, Catelyn Stark. Ooh. Uh, in the books, uh, I mean, obviously she was killed at the red. Mm, yeah, red wedding. at the red wedding. Uh, then there was the scene that was kind of like just it left you hanging at the end of one of the books. Uh, but there was a woman who could not speak because her throat was slashed. Whoa. Uh, I think what I would really love, I guess, like this would like just be so exciting, is if Caitlin Stark came back as a white. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Would she be inherently evil? Do you think there are, there's a chance that we'll see like more characters like Benjamin? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Can you but imagine? I, I, maybe, yeah. Actually, I like that idea that there are. They're not White Walkers. They're not Whites, but like people who have manipulated the power to come back yeah. in some in some way, right? So I like that idea. Yeah. Benjen was saved right by the sprites, the tree sprites, yeah. or whoever those people were, right? Yeah. Um, and so maybe there's the idea that other people were saved as well. But that would be yes. brutal for Sansa and John and everybody to try to fight Catelyn Stark. That so that would be, be dirty, yep. dirty maneuver. Um, I think it, it pains me to say it because I think he's my like second favorite character, but Tormund almost feels like he's got to oh, eventually be that. Yeah. yeah, he's just been a wildling at heart forever, and like for him to die going out in his own territory would make a lot of sense, I think, but also be um, super brutal. And then, of course, like the connections he's made coming back right would be really tough for anybody to try to kill him. Oh, my boy Tormund. Yeah, that this would be... eyebrow game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that guy does have some serious eyebrows. Um, what about, like, one of the giant trolls? Yeah. Giants. Yeah, I guess through. one one or something, but yeah. At this, well, he is all the way down in Winterfell or whatever. Yeah, the I castle. Don't, I don't see how the Stark can become a White Walker. What, Catelyn? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... It, it, it could easily be explained in a in a throwaway scene. You know what I mean? Like, it... it, it don't, don't put anything like, past them. Been dead, right? Since, but Maybe we don't. How much time has passed since the the white the red wedding? You know what I mean? Like, we don't really know how much time is. Like, do we have an idea of from season one to now? Like yeah. the the chronology of that? Like, I don't really know. Um, we know that, like, obviously, looking at a couple of things like Arya training 
and assuming that that took some time for her to train, you know, months and months that has passed. But are we looking at three years? Are we looking at 15 years? Like, what? you know, I'm, I'm not super sure. Well, and, and keep in mind the timeline between the uh, TV series and the books uh, is different. I mean, like, Daenerys Targaryen in the books is a 12-year-old when she married... Uh, Cal Drogo. Cal Drogo. Yeah. And so that... You know, you couldn't play that on TV. Is there anything, as a <laughs> as another quick aside, John, that you think, as a book reader, that we might see happen? Now, I know we're way past, you know, when the books ended and the TV show took over, but are there cool characters or plot lines? There's one that comes to mind for me that I for now I didn't read the books, but one to com- that comes to mind is, wasn't there in the books a battle between the Hound and the Mountain? Uh, like a fight between the two of them? It, it, not... If I'm remembering correctly, not explicitly in the books, it was a historical piece. It was like a background piece. Gotcha. Uh, but as far as uh, things that I wish were in the TV series, um, definitely uh, Victorian Greyjoy. Tell me about him. Oh. So, in the books, there are like these three competing factions to hold the Iron Islands. You have Theon and his sister, but then you have Euron, who, if I'm remembering correctly from the books, I'm trying to make sure I don't get things mixed up, uh, is actually like this insane priest. Uh, and then you have Victarion, who's like this badass warrior who comes out of nowhere and has like this arm that he has to heal magically but then is like ten times stronger and smoky and burnt to crisp. Uh, Victorian Greyjoy is probably the thing that I wish was presented in the TV show more than anything else. I've heard a lot of people talk about um, Cold Hands, which is Benjen. That's what we're assuming. Even right. in the books, that's kind of like the initial assumption that I made. Yeah. Um, so that's another one of my predictions, I think, just throwing that out there. I think we are going to see the Hound square off against the Undead Mountain. I think that's going to be... Doubt. This badass big fight that happens, and I think we're going to see it as a result of the Hound aligning with the North, and then eventually getting to King's Landing and, and having to siege the throne. And like you know, as they're pushing on the throne, the last you know uh, uh, obstacle between the North and the throne might be a fight between the Undead Mountain and the Hound. I think that would just be super super awesome. Yeah, that'd be a high paying ticket on pay per view for yeah, sure. I think sure. I think we need it because like how many of these teasers are we going to get paid off on right and george r R. martin is so good at it already so it's like Artie's list the hound versus the mountain obviously they have so much historical hatred for each other so where do we go from there all right last thing boys and girl uh where do we think season seven what's the opening scene just give me your gut reaction what do you think the opening scene is going to be in season seven who do we open on is it a big reveal? Are they going to try to take our breath away? Or is it going to be like a safe bet? What are we going to see? I feel like it's got to be the North. and it, uh, Especially because as we wind down, right, as the complete series started with White Walker intro, right? And I feel like as we end down, like that's still what everything feels like it's leading up towards. And I have a feeling it's going to be Bran. And I have a feeling it's going to be finding out something explicit or doing something explicit that changes the game. Of the North. Has every season had the same opening scene? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I know season one opened with the White Walkers, the north side of the wall, they're like in the snow or running around. I don't mm-hmm. remember the other seasons. No, they've always been different. different. They've always been different. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play on yours a bit, Joe. I think, I agree. I think we're going to see something that we're not going to know exactly what it is at first. It's going to be characters that we don't recognize. It's going to be like a scene that we don't recognize. We're going to realize like halfway through the opening scene that we're actually witnessing a vision from Bran who is seeing some piece of story that is super integral. Maybe off the bat, it's just going to confirm that Rhaegar Targaryen is Jon's dad. Maybe it's like a, a sex scene between Lyanna and Rhaegar, you know, something like that. So, somehow we know unequivocally Moving forward, John is half Targaryen and and half Stark. I think that's where I'm at. Yeah, I can see it. I think I think too. Like they want to keep the suspicion right going, and I think they do a really good job of giving you bits and pieces and making you want it more. So yeah, I believe it. John, 
Yeah, I mean, in in what I remember from the the opening scene to every season is that it is something that plays into the story, but is outside of all the main characters. So I think maybe kind of to to uh, synthesize uh, your guys' answers, I think we're going to see something. It's either going to be with uh, the Targaryen connection between uh, Lyanna and whoever daddy is, Mm -hmm. or we're going to see something that happens. Maybe it'll be off in Dorne. Maybe it'll be off in the Iron Islands. We're going to see some uh, everyday man scene uh, that is playing out in all of this grand spectacle. Okay. You know what I would love, though? Just like a five-minute monologue from Tyrion. Yeah. Catch us up. You know, that would like, be awesome. <laughs> would Sip be... it on a glass of wine. Yeah. A little snark. A little comedy. I agree with John. I was going to say, I think it's going to be like some random smaller character, like the Iron Islands or something like that. That's what I think it'll be. Gotcha. Maybe what Euron's up to these days. Davos talking about shitting himself before battle. Yep. Something like oh, that. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember that story. He, didn't he tell that to Gendry? Was Tor- it? Tor- Tormund. Tormund, yeah. yeah. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we've got time for today on our preview show for Game of Thrones Season 7. Remember that you can reach out to us anytime at Geeks, that's G-E-E-K-S, at H-O-T-Y-B dot co. If you have a theory about Game of Thrones Season 7, let us know. We'll discuss it. This probably isn't going to be the last Game of Thrones-focused show that we have throughout the year. Um, let us know if you want more and what you want the shows to be about. We listen to you. We do these shows for you guys. As always, we thank you. Uh, make sure to rate us uh, and subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, however you get your podcasts. Uh, that would greatly help. Uh, John, Jill, Kendall, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Uh, and uh, the winter is coming. The Howard of them. <laughs> I'm going to get that down eventually. Uh, Right, and with that, Kendall, give us a random outro sound. Kevin, just give us one. Okay, Joe, give us one. Okay! (laughs)